The Maid of Needpath, Sir W. Scott. This is a tale of unfortunate circumstance. The maid has been affected by sickness caused by mourning and pining and desperately waits for the return of her love. Unfortunately, she has physically changed so much that when he passes by, he does not recognize her and does not stop. Or does he recognize her but chooses not to stop? Her heart is broken. The Maid of Need Path Oh, lover's eyes are sharp to see and lover's ears in hearing and love in life's extremity can lend an hour of cheering. Disease had been in Mary's bower and slow decayed from morning, though now she sits on Needpath's tower to watch her love's returning. All some can dim her eyes so bright, her form decayed by pining, till through her wasted hand at night you saw the taper shining. By fits a sultry hectic hue across her cheek was flying, by fits so ashy pale she grew, her maidens thought her dying. Yet keenest powers to see and hear seemed in her frame residing. Before the watchdog pricked his ear, she heard her lover's riding. Ere scarce a distant form was kenned, she knew and waved to greet him, and o'er the battlement did bend as on the wing to meet him. He came, he passed, and heedless gaze as o'er some stranger glancing. Her welcome, spoken faltering phrase, lost in his courser's prancing. The castle arch, whose hollow tone returns each whisper spoken, could scarcely catch the feeble moan, which told her heart was broken.